Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I wanna walk you through um, what's happening in like a flow moment in worship or altar moment, um, or basically unscripted, right? If you're not familiar with those terms, just kind of an unscripted moment. So let me set the stage for the clip I'm about to show you. So this is at the end of a service. Um, this is a Sunday night kind of revival service at New Life St. Louis. Um, a guest minister, uh, Pastor Aaron Lopez, just got done preaching. And so Kevin Howard's on keys, I'm on drums. We got the rest of the band up there. Um, and so this is a high moment. He is into the service and everybody's on their feet. And so how do we flow in this moment? How do we back up a preacher? How do we go into um, an altar call moment? So I'm gonna just kind of walk through what's happening here and kind of talk you through it. So uh, I'm watching three things, okay? So first of all, I'm watching Kevin on keys, his body language, what he's doing. So um, a lot of times if someone um, is going to signal that we're gonna do a hit together, they'll put their head back to signal heads up and they'll hit their head down and that's when you hit. So that's kind of the signal watch and hit. Um, then he's also has a talk back mic. So he's got a microphone um, at the keyboard. So if you're not familiar with that, it's a talk back mic. So this is a microphone that only those on in-ear monitors can hear. So just all the singers and musicians. So he's communicating to us. I've got that mix here in this video as well. So you'll be able to hear Kevin talking, um, but he's got a switch where he can switch between a live mic if he wants to sing from the keys or, you know, exhort or do something in the service, talk to singers in rehearsal, um, you know, or like a choir or anyone there, or he can switch back to just, um, uh, in ears. So that's what he's doing now. So it's talk back. So one is Kevin's body language and what he's doing. Two is his vocal cues and talk back. And three, person's got the mic um, speaker. So we're going to uh, punch in here. Pastor Lopez just got done uh, speaking. He is, you know, a climactic uh, worship moment at the end. Um, in his message, he has a table set up with chairs as part of his message. So he actually has uh, Pastor Batchelor, which is the host pastor of the church. He's got him on stage with his family. So he's about to turn the mic over to him. So again, this is like a high moment. Um, so we're, I'm like cymbal swelling and I'm watching everything. So let's pick up and watch uh, what happens. So I'm just swelling. He's going to pass the mic off. Now Brother Bachelor comes. Higher energy. So I'm going to add the kick just to match his energy. Just gonna keep that intensity. In a moment, Kevin is gonna start calling numbers, which is um, here we go. so I'm watching his language, his body language. He's calling those hits with his head. And he's calling numbers to the musicians, chords. So I'm going to show you another spot. Okay, so I'll just follow him uh, for a while. And then there's another segment where he starts just kind of bringing in rhythm. And um, I just kind of pick up on that. And I can just feel, you know, we've been kind of, again, padding through stuff. And so I just start bringing in time. And he kind of follows me. So it's kind of just, you know, this communication going back and forth. So I'm we'll punch in on this segment. Yeah, we've just been holding this whole time. But he's starting to play more of a rhythmic line. Because he's not saying anything, but... He's starting to play an obvious progression. So I'm just picking up on that and I just lead it in the rhythm. In this... Um, moment, even though the energy is high, I don't want to drop right in with a full groove because I want to leave headroom. So I'm just, you know, whole notes on the kick. I'm just building it up some.
few of the guys what the chord progression is. Just kind of keeping it here. Just slowly building intensity. Now let's do four, five, one. Minor four. Catching his rhythms. Just trying to lock in a little bit. kind of use that special when he called that I think six kind of use that I set that up with a fill and then dropped in with more of a full groove so now I'm in with a full groove now me and the bass player are establishing kind of our pattern now that we're full in so I think I did kind of like a yeah Based off of Kevin's doom, doom, doom. I just kind of established as the bass pattern. I mean, the kick pattern and the bass player followed. So you can see it's kind of that musical communication happening. Kevin's picking the theme. I'm following it. Bass player's following it. Guitar player's following it. Kevin's gonna love me sharing this, but. So obviously he's calling the section. And now we're in this theme. So I'll let that, I'll play some more of that so you can just watch it and um, listen to it. But um, I know for many of you, that's commonplace. And it's kind of what you do at your church. But I always get questions about that. What's that microphone? What are y'all saying? What is he doing? So I hope that um, helps. But yeah, in those moments, um, again, the key things I'm looking for is if there's somebody leading, right? If there's a, the MC, the pastor, the preacher, whoever it is, I'm paying attention to their body language. I'm matching their energy because I'm the dynamic leader. You're the dynamic leader as the drummer. And then the MD, you know, if they're giving cues, obviously locking up with that. Um, and then in this case, you know, Kevin, as the MD playing keys, you know, he's the one that's kind of leading um, the musical moment. So I kind of followed him to bring in the rhythm. I followed his kind of theme, his rhythmic, his rhythmic themes. And um, so, yeah, we, we took it from there. So I hope that kind of gives you a little bit of insight as to what I'm thinking, what's happening um, in these kind of flow moments at an altar, and uh, maybe some things to think about next time you are in that situation. If you got any questions, um, hit me up in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer, um, you know, give further clarification on anything, or if you have a question about something that you do, um, or, you know, what I would do, um, I'd be happy to help. So if you have any questions about any of the gear that I use to create these videos, whether the videos I'm here, as far as the GoPros and different things, angles, um, or the stuff that I've got right now, you can also just ask that below and I'll answer. And uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, um, please think about doing so. 
I've got over 600 videos. Um, I don't know what the count is right now, but I've got tons of just drum covers, tutorials, gear breakdowns, all the kind of stuff that um, I do just serving at my local church um, on a weekend and doing some traveling, playing and different stuff. So yeah, man, hope you enjoyed it. And again, if you got anything else you want to know, just hit me up and ask me and I'll answer and hope to see you guys in the next video.